Good morning, everybody. It's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Today, I'm going to be doing my 38-week pregnancy update. As I'm filming this, I'm currently 38 weeks and six days pregnant, so tomorrow I'll be 39 weeks. By the time I'm posting this, I'll be 39 weeks in a couple days. And basically, we are just getting super, super close to meeting this baby. I have a lot of exciting things to update you on in this video. I want to talk about all of the symptoms I've been experiencing. I'm going to tell you about my 38 week appointment where I got checked and I might be a little bit dilated. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Um, I'll give you a peek at my belly because it is getting big and it has dropped a lot. And I'll also tell you about a crazy ice storm and how I thought I might be going into labor in an ice storm. So if that sounds interesting, just keep on watching. All right, so first things I wanna just show you on my app um, what the baby is supposedly looking like right now. It's pretty much the same as it has been for the last couple of weeks. Um, and you can't see that much because the baby is so big at this point. Back when we first started doing this, like the whole baby would fit on my phone actual size. And now if I hit actual size, that's how much <laughs> you see. But baby. real big in there, right? According to the app. And it says that the baby is about 19 inches long and 7.25 pounds. That can obviously vary from person to person, but it's the average. And some of the highlights that it mentions, it, one is weight gain. So your baby weighs about seven pounds this week and is continuing to build up fat under the skin. The digestive system is now capable of digesting liquid foods and your baby is busy peeing at regular intervals. Lovely. And then lanugo. So most of the lanugo or body hair is now gone and any remaining amount will fall out soon after birth. So those are some of the highlights going on. And now I'm gonna get into my symptoms, what's been going on with me and the baby in the last two weeks. So this will be week 37 and week 38 that I'm talking about here. One of the big ones um, has been low back pain, a lot. <laughs> and that is super common for the end of pregnancy. Um, it's kind of a low down where my pelvis is in my back. It is just sore, especially at night. I you know, sleep with a pillow between my legs and whatnot, but it still is sore often. I've also been getting some period-like cramping, both in the front and in the back. So normally when I get period cramps, I get it in my back. Um, and then I get them a little bit like in the front too, in my uterus. And I have had some of that going on, kind of wondering if it might be like some early labor contractions um, because they do kind of come and go suddenly my back will be really sore for like 30 seconds or a minute or two and then it'll go away and then it'll happen again in like 5, 10, 20 minutes. They're kind of all over the place so it would definitely be like that prodromal early labor, not like real active labor yet. But I'm, I'm wondering if that's part of what's going on. Okay, here's a weird one for you. Eye twitching. This eye has been twitching so much lately. I don't, I have no idea why. I have been taking all my vitamins, I eat my bananas, but yeah, it's been twitching a lot. Maybe it's just like, this eye is really stressed about having a baby soon, it could be. <laughs> Another thing that has been going on, unfortunately, is lightning crotch. What a terrifying name for a symptom. <laughs> I've just been getting kind of like shooting pains down there every once in a while. Um, sometimes like when I am walking or standing up, um, and it's not the baby kicking me down there, although she does that a fair amount too, and that's not too comfortable, but that's been a thing. Okay, another weird one is my knuckles and like my joints and my body have been very sore and swollen, especially in my hands, it seems like. My knuckles along here are very swollen and just, they're sore all the time. It's super weird. Has anyone else experienced that during pregnancy? I like have never heard of that being a thing, but I don't know. Another thing that has been so fun and so cute um, is that the baby responds to my voice. She's been responding to sounds a little bit for the past few months, you know, since she started being able to hear, but it has, 
it's gotten pretty obvious and it's so cute. Like in the morning when I wake up, I'll say good morning to her and just kind of have a little conversation with the bump and she'll move in response to my voice when I start talking to her when she's previously just been like, you know, sleepy and not moving at all. So I like to think that she can hear me and that she's, you know, hearing her mama and getting excited. Okay, another thing, at my 37 week appointment, I think, I got the group B strep test um, and I got my results for that and it came back negative which I was really happy about. It's not a huge deal if you have it, it's pretty common for people, but I was just relieved. One less thing to worry about when it's time for baby to come. All right, gonna get into week 38 now. I started feeling quite a bit better than I had been. Um, if you guys have been watching my last couple updates, you know just late pregnancy has been taking a toll on me. I've been feeling tired and achy and low energy, which I still am a fair bit, but I just, I'm feeling better. I have more energy and I am not quite as achy and you know, I don't know what caused that exactly. If it's just, maybe it's like that energy surge towards the end of pregnancy. I think partly it's because the baby dropped so it's just more comfortable up here. Um, but yeah, that's been, that's been great. Probably the most exciting thing in week 38, I had a midwife appointment and they did my first cervical check. I did not know what to expect. I didn't have my hopes up that I would be progressed at all yet, but I was like, you know, that would be cool if I were. And it turns out that I was already two centimeters dilated, 50% effaced, and the baby was nice and low. My cervix was very soft. And that was at the beginning of week 38. So that was super encouraging and exciting just to know my body is already doing what it's supposed to be doing to get ready to have this baby. And the midwife reminded me, like, it could mean you're going into labor tonight. It could mean you're going into labor three weeks from now. Um, it's not really like a definite sign, you know, being this dilated or whatever, but um, it still was just really encouraging. And I'm very curious to see at my next appointment on this coming Wednesday if I've progressed any more than that. I hope so. Any that I do now is like less that I have to do in labor, so that's awesome. Um, at that appointment, I also had a membrane sweep done. Now, I was kind of torn on this, but I discussed all the pros and cons with my midwife, and I, I just felt like it was the right thing to do. I felt really confident, and I really trusted her and felt comfortable with her, so we ended up doing that. It was a bit uncomfortable. People always kind of wonder like, well, what is that like? It was a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't that bad. Yes, had that done, the membrane sweep. She kind of explained to me like, if you are on the very edge of going into labor, it can kind of just push things along and help you get there. And if you're still a, white, a ways off, you're probably still gonna be a ways off, but it can help you from going um, overdue. So that sounded good to me. After having that, I had some more of those period like cramps, kind of felt like possibly early labor, contractions coming super randomly, not very painful at all, but just coming and going. Okay, and then the next day after that appointment, I actually lost my mucus plug, which was exciting. <laughs> I had kind of been losing it in like little bits um, and then on the 11th and the 12th, I kind of lost it in like a bigger piece on those two days. And one had a little bit of like blood in it, which is totally normal. Um, so that was exciting. That's just another sign that, you know, we're getting ready to go into labor. Usually it means that you'll go into labor within two weeks. So let's hope. <laughs> another thing that's been going on is that I have been super hungry lately. My theory is that it's because the baby dropped, so my stomach has more room now and it's just like basking in all the space. But seriously, sometimes I'll eat a meal and like, as I'm finishing it, I'm still hungry. Like a normal sized meal. I don't know, I'm just hungry often. I have a bigger appetite, which, you know, it's kind of nice after being so like restricted in what you can eat because your stomach is so squished for a long time. But I've also been getting really intense heartburn still. That's been going on for a while. It's the worst when I am laying in bed at night. It just feels like there's fire like in my throat and chest and that's pretty uncomfortable. 
but I can usually just take a Tums and it'll go away for a few hours, take another one a few hours later and I'm fine. So it's not a huge deal. Another thing is that my um, feet and legs, I noticed, are getting kind of swollen after I'm like doing exercise. Not that I'm exercising hardcore, but if I'm doing a lot of walking or the other day I was going up and down stairs and I just noticed my legs and feet were kind of swollen after that. Some other random things, um, I still have been peeing all the time. There's a lot of pressure down there. I've also been going number two more frequently, which I guess is actually kind of common near the end of pregnancy. Your body kind of starts to just like clear itself out and get ready for labor and things. The last thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is the crazy ice storm that we had here in Oregon. We got like a winter storm warning. We just expected it to be, you know, snow and cold and you know, it would be okay. It was wild, you guys. It was really freezing cold. Everything got this super thick layer of ice on it, like an inch or more of ice surrounding it. It was just like encasing the trees and all the plants and everything outside basically and it caused the trees to get super heavy and branches would break off and fall onto people's houses and cars into their yards. Some entire trees fell over, some split in half. It was wild. Luckily, we weren't too affected. One tree did go down in our backyard, but it didn't hit anything, thank goodness. But we did lose power for a couple of days. We didn't have any heat, we didn't have cell service because those went down for some reason. We didn't have internet. We were just kind of living in like the dark ages for a couple days there. Um, and we tried to tough it out in our own house, but it got so, so cold just because it was so cold outside that we ended up going to Davis's parents' house because they have like a gas fireplace that doesn't rely on electricity. They didn't have electricity either, but at least they had heat. So we stayed with them for the night. But throughout that whole thing, I had been having those like on and off early labor, like contractions. And I was so worried that I was gonna go into labor and have a baby in the middle of an ice storm where the hospital would be running on generators. When we brought our home, there would be no heat or electricity. And oh my gosh, I'm so relieved that that did not happen. <laughs> that would have been so intense. It would have been a really good story to tell like when you were born, but I'm glad it didn't happen just for our sake. I've been super eager for the baby to come out, but during the last couple days, I was like, all right, you can just stay there. It's fine. <laughs> Luckily though, yesterday, all the power came back on. In our area, we were able to come back home and shortly after the internet came back and we were kind of back to normal here. However, a lot of people are still without power. A lot of people suffer damage to their houses. So if that's you, I'm so sorry. My heart goes out to you and I am, I've been praying that people are just staying safe and warm, that they'll be able to make all the repairs they need to to restore their homes. Anyway, after we were back home, with power back on, I was like, okay, baby can come now. <laughs> and I really feel like that whenever she decides to come, I'm ready. I've kind of just been hyper aware of possible signs and you know that labor might be starting. There's a lot of different things people say. It kind of reminds me of when, you, when you're waiting to find out if you're pregnant and you're just hyper aware of what's going on within you. Um, that's how that's how I feel. I'm just like, oh, could that be? Was that a contraction? Was that what's going on? <laughs> you know? On that note, I've been doing lots of bouncing on my yoga ball. I've been trying to do lots of walking, just kind of doing what I can to encourage people to get down and ready to go into labor. So that's about it. That's what's been going on with symptoms and appointments and all that good stuff. I am kind of feeling like this might be my last pregnancy update because my next one would be at the end of 40 weeks, which would be overdue, which it's totally possible that I will still be pregnant then. It'll be fine. It's all in God's timing whenever it's right. But I just kind of have the sense that it's going to happen sooner rather than later in the next week. Maybe the next two weeks is when I think it's going to happen. But we will see out of my hands and I, whenever she decides to come, I'm gonna be ready and super excited. I can't wait to meet her. Okay, last thing, I wanna show you guys my belly. Okay, 
Let me show you what's going on here. The baby has dropped quite a bit. So my belly button is super low. It looks kind of ridiculous right now. Boom. That is a big pregnant belly. Huh. And look at this. When I kind of suck in, you can really see how low she actually is. Like she's way down here. Isn't that weird? So this is the belly. I do not know how much bigger we can get in there, but we will see. All right, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hit subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the birth vlog or any of those exciting things coming. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Maybe with a baby. We don't know. All right, bye.